take me to the All Star. Ah! I haven't even gone to the room yet. I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that! What? It's huge! Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pauline Way. Um, I have this channel. I never really do anything with it, uh, but. I just got back from an amazing trip to Walt Disney World, a solo vacation. And if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm Pauline in TO, and I've been posting videos throughout my trip. So I just got back yesterday after a whirlwind day in the Magic Kingdom. Um, I wanted to go for a rest back at the resort before I headed back out to the parks. I was thinking of going to Epcot after I was tired and it was hot. So I want to go sit by the pool. When I walked into the hotel lobby, the birthday boy, Mickey Mouse, was standing in the lobby. Oh my God. I was just like, ah! There was nobody else around. Magical moment happened. Mickey Mouse and I was just like, ah! And the cast member captured the moment perfectly. Mickey Mouse signed, I love you. And I was like, go oh, it, girl. I went into Trader Sam's on my very last night. It's something I wanted to do for a long time. For those of you who don't know, Trader Sam is a character from the Jungle Book ride. Uh, he's the guy standing there with a shrunken head. You order a certain drink and crazy things start to happen. Um, I can't even remember what I ordered, but it, it came in this fun little tiki glass and I only ordered it because I wanted the souvenir tiki glass. Look at that, ooh, mini ears. I got this and when you order this drink, things happen in the room and they announce that you've ordered this drink and they yell, two shots of rum. I've seen uh, this bigger drink and they put a whole bunch of straws in it and the room starts thundering and then things start happening in the windows and then this little tiki guy starts singing or doing go 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 I don't even know what he's doing. So I highly recommend checking out Trader Sam's at the Polynesia. It's so much fun if you get a chance. Great fun for adults. Children were in there up until a certain time. Children can go into Trader Sam's. Now for the fun part. The merch hall! You've already seen uh, my little guy, I'm going to call him Congaloosh in honor of the Adventurers Club that used to be at Downtown Disney. Congaloosh! I miss the Adventurers Club. I'm going to use him as uh, for a potted plant. I think that'd be really cute. A little tiny little cactus or something. I started pin trading. I saw Tim and Jen Tracker doing pin trading in one of their videos and I thought I want to try it so I bought a booster set at the character warehouse and I started trading. I don't have any of those booster ones left. Now for those of you who don't know anything about the pin trading, it was a really big deal around um, probably about five years ago when it first started. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. And you could buy pins and trade with other people, but they all had to be purely Disney pins. I usually like to just trade with the cast members because they can't say no. And cast members have exclusive pins. I didn't know this until the very last day. So at least I know that for next time. I really like the old school Epcot logo. As you can see, I bought this sweatshirt at the Character Warehouse for $15. Regular price, I think it was like $55 or $65. And I got it at the Character Warehouse on Vineland for $15. It's already been frayed because my kitten got to it. Oh, well. Yeah, so I really liked this Epcot logo and apparently all these silver ones, which I just like on its own, they have a chaser. On my very last day at the Polynesian, uh, the manager had this one on and I was like, oh, I really like that. That looks just like this one here. And she goes, oh, well that's, you have to get this one then because this is the chaser to that. If you get these two together, that's a complete set. Anytime you see uh, these, Little Mickey Mouses, those are cast member exclusive pins. So those were the ones that I just happened to really like because I didn't see them in the stores. And then when I took a look at mine, all of my pins are actually cast member exclusive ones except for the Black w Widow. But I just like her, so I wouldn't trade her. How did I get that button? Well, I was at the Magic Kingdom on Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday. They gave us these buttons when we walked in. 
very cool. And I got this button here, Honorary World Showcase Players button, from a cast member who was working in the pavilion. She came up to me and we started chatting for like 15 minutes and we hit it off and uh, she gave me this pin. It was really cool. Oh, that's my cat, Ellen. She's a troublemaker. She's the one who just tried to string. But look how cute she is. What are you going to destroy now? So at the character warehouse, I picked up this lanyard for my pin set with uh, this 2018 one on it. Also at the character warehouse, I picked up one of these magnets. That was like a dollar on sale because I guess they're nearing the end of the year. Oh, are you knocking things down now? I also picked up this little hipster Mickey Mouse. Only a dollar. It was on my backpack. While I was in the Magic Kingdom, I went on Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? Caribbean? Depending on where you're from. I love the redhead. We wants the redhead! I know that people hate that. I love the redhead. She's so pretty. I think the new red looks a lot like a young Sigourney Weaver. Check it out the next time you're at the Pirates Caribbean. I love the redhead, so I had to have red. I picked up red. She's so pretty. I love her. Look at that. She got a beauty mark too. <laughs> I also got this really pretty necklace. This was $20. And it came with one of these little gift bags. I guess if you're going to give it as a gift, you could just pop it in there. But it was a gift for me. I also picked up one of these Pride Mickeys because, hello, Pride Mickey. I also picked up these for my friend. She's never been to Walt Disney World and she really wanted Minnie Mouse ears. I hope she wears this on New Year's because it is perfect. Ready? Sam, you better wear this. Bom, 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 Look how pretty these ears are. I love these ears. Oh, and these are mine. I had a poll on Instagram and Facebook which ears I should buy, and uh, the Pride ones won by a landslide. So I went with these ones, and they were a hit. Everybody was commenting how pretty these ears were. A guy came up to me one day and said, You have the best ears! Things you say outside of Walt Disney World that would sound really weird. Also, a friend of mine asked for this bum bag or fanny pack or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from. Hip bag. Uh, so she asked me to pick this up, so I thought I'd show off what I bought for her. This one was $45 plus tax. And a shout out to my friend Jess. Thank you again for this incredible turvis. She brought me this awesome uh, 90th birthday Mickey Mouse turvis. It's got all the different Mickey Mouses through the years and through the decades. There's Steamboat Willie and Fantasia Mickey running mickey this one is i think mortimer mouse this is before i believe that's before mickey got the name mickey mouse would you imagine mortimer mouse ah! so glad they changed the name to mickey mortimer sounds a little depressing it reminds me of like a horror film or something mortimer mouse is coming to get you next on the worlds of disney another thing i started to do was uh, collect these coins, these press coins. I haven't done that since I worked there in Walt Disney World 21 years ago, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun. I had all these extra coins, and I'm not used to having coins because I, when I'm at home, I usually use a debit, but when I'm in Disney World or I'm on vacation, I like to use cash so I know how much money I'm, I can budget instead of putting on my credit card or on my magic band, and then all of a sudden, I spent $300 more than I thought I did. Yes, I've done that in the past. I've seen on Pinterest people who've done like the Mickey ears and the Mickey face uh, with using these coins. And I thought that would be a lot of fun. But I don't have enough here right now. Maybe on my future trips I'll get some more and then I'll add to the collection and uh, make my little Mickey head. So this is my little collection started right here. So if anybody's going to Walt Disney World and you see a fun press penny, let me know. I, I'll give you the 51 cents for it. While I was in Walt Disney World, it was Dapper Day over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. People were getting dressed up in beautiful dapper outfits, and I wanted to be a part of it. And I brought some clothes down, but I didn't want to wear it because my shoes, I think, would have hurt, and I didn't plan it out properly. It was all done very last minute. And I fell in love with all the girls' dresses, and I was going to go to Disney Springs and purchase 
uh, a dress and they were gorgeous like they were $108 $168 and I was willing to buy it because they were so pretty and then I went to the character warehouse where they had these dresses I believe they were being discontinued I'm not a hundred percent sure but they were there for $50 Fifty five zero. It was down from a hundred and sixty eight dollars. Look how pretty this is. I think this is Mary Poppins is what I'm guessing. I'm not too sure, but that comes with this as well. Look at that. That's so pretty. It's kind of got a corset type thing on the back to make me look skinny and fitted. And uh, it's got this little cape as well for what the evenings when it gets cold. I saw some girls wearing this in the Magic Kingdom and they were keeping warm because it got a little bit cold over the weekend. And I thought, thought that was so clever. It was so cute. And then when I was at the character warehouse, I also found these. How cute will this be? Ooh, look at me. I'm dapper. So hopefully I could get to Walt Disney World during a dapper day again and I could wear these pretty dresses. I want to go buy more. <laughs> if anybody knows which dress I bought, I think it's Mary Poppins, but my friend thinks it could be Belle because Belle wore this in the scene as well uh, in the movie. So let me know. What do you think? Is this Belle or Mary Poppins or are we both wrong? Who is this? Whose umbrella is that? Tale as old as time. Do -do 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 -do. Or is it, oh, super califragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is even stridocrocious. Crocious? Super califragilisticexpialidocious. Now, the piece of resistance. I think I went back to look at this four times at the Polynesian Resort. I knew I had to have it because it just makes me so happy. Because I love Stitch and I love Dole Whip. Look at this! Oh, how cute is he? Stitch with a doll whip. He's giving a spoon to his little dolly. Would you like some? And it's a Polynesian resort in the back, or I think it's just a Hawaiian background, but how cute is that? So I'm going to frame that and hang that in my apartment. All of the artwork that they have in Walt Disney World, they do a description of the artists. So this is by Doug Bali. Um, it's called Ohana Happens Here. And for those of you who don't know what Ohana means, Ohana means family. That was really bad stitch. Ohana means family. Ohana means family. Was that better? And I am going to frame this piece of art as well. I got this at the Haunted Mansion, one of my all-time favorite rides. And when I saw Tim Tracker show this, on one of his vlogs, I knew I had to have it. Comes this awesome little uh, envelope here. Serpents and spiders, tail of a rat, calling the spirits wherever they're at. So you get this at Morimoto's uh, outside, I believe it's Morimoto's, is that what that store's called? I don't even know, but it's right beside the Haunted Mansion. And it's only $20, and they take a photo on this old-fashioned camera, and then it renders your face into your spirit and turns you into a ghost. A ghost host. <laughs> a lot of people think this kind of thing is hokey. I live by myself. It's getting framed and it's going to welcome all my guests to my apartment with the frightening ghost. The spirits are watching. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me. I had a lot of fun reliving a little bit of the magic that I experienced and showing you all the fun souvenirs that I brought back. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a question in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and please share your story. If you have videos on your YouTube channel, I would love to watch them. As well, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of my adventure in Walt Disney World, check out my Instagram, Pauline and T.O. Uh, and I've added it into my WDW 2018 highlights. So I, I've picked the best of. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. Thanks a lot for joining me. I had so much fun. TTFN.
See you real soon. Oh, bye. <laughs>